let's go see the biggest plant market of Germany! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, my name is Rose, my pronouns are she, her and today I'm at the plant market of Hamm, which is called Botanica and as you can see, it's very busy, there's incredible plants here but luckily we got to be here a little bit early so we could see everything before it got so busy we made it! we arrived at the Equagenera stand, let's take a look around this is the stand, it's really full with plants we'll look up close to some of them cute! I wonder what this is, because this looks like my uh, Metallica Extipulatum, something like that. I love that they also have orchids, and not just huge plants, huge aeroids. Look at these beautiful little flowers. Oh, and more cute little flowers on very small, tiny orchids. I love this. This is a very funky looking leaf. Nice for the terrarium, maybe. Look at this. These are, what did you say they were called? Amazon Sunset. This is Philodendrum Berrucosum Amazon Sunset. Amazon Sunset yeah. from Equigenera. Yeah. And it's so dark red. Wow. Thank you for yeah. showing us. Very nice. They just told us that they can actually take a lot of colder temperatures, so down to 8 degrees, which is really low. So that's really yeah. awesome. Look, she's showing us a really big one as well. Look at how many cute plants. Baby queens for 30. Oh, this is very nice too, very dark. Don't know what it is. Amazing! I found a beautiful um, El Shoko, which is now called Juven. <laughs> oh, Jesus, the name. Rubri Juvenile. Okay, <laughs> something like that. It's beautiful and it's 45 euros. In the back here they have more of the big plants. Look at these queens. These are 180. Luxuriums, Vichy. And then if we look here, sorry for the background noise, people are still setting up. A huge regal. Look at this size. Whoa. And some smaller ones. This looks like Bessier. Yes. 130 and more smaller they have sizes for everyone hello this is pascal he is a german uh, youtuber and he's hello. also my patreon and we're finally <laughs> meeting in person so check out his channel i will link it below thank you pascal's rare what is it it's simple jungle pascal's jungle okay I i'm not that creative <laughs> i will link it below <laughs> And also, I'm finding more cool plants. This is Philodendron rugosum, I think, with the pigskin uh, leaves. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, look at this beauty. This price will be interesting to see. No price. This is wild, the size of this and the colors and the shininess, it's amazing. <laughs> Can you believe this size? Look at this! <laughs> Since we're doing plant selfies, I decided to also sneakily pick this one up <laughs> so you can see the size properly. <laughs> My arm is not long enough. Hold on. Check this out! It is too big for the screen. Incredible. We made it to Harmony Plants and immediately the size of the plants is slapping me in the face. Look at this regal, look at this melano. This is wild. And this is, I think, Patricia or Sharonier, one of those names. Baby Queen down here as well. Oh, so cute. How much is that? 100. Patricia, I had it right. Yay. I don't know if I can show you all the plants because there's so much to see. Look at this. So beautiful and dark. Look at these ghosts, so nice and light. And I heard they also have a lot of baby plants as well, so not just huge ones. Whoa, look at all these bananas. Variegated bananas for 80 euros. Holy crap. Wow. I'm just gonna, oh, <laughs> kill me now. What is happening? 
What is your price? 130. Florida beauties all over the place. Look at them. Look at them. So many. That's incredible. I've never seen this many together. Wow. And big ones too. The bigger ones are 130 or 150. I also found a little uh, tie with half moon leaves for 80. This is a bit like mine. Very adorable. And look at the El Choco we found. This one has one bigger leaf and then three smaller. Incredible! Oh, and huge regal. Sorry, Mike, I'm moving on from your plan really quick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> They're still very busy setting everything up because we are here early and annoying them probably. But look at all the babies. Baby Jacqueline's! Ah, so cute. My Jacqueline's died, so hopefully the corms will come back. Wow. Pascal is here with his Maybe plants as well. I printed these uh, with my 3G printer. Oh. Um, these are handles for the Milspo. Oh, cabinet. cool. To make them look cool. Yes. And wow. I have some uh, smaller. That's so cute, yeah, I saw these. It was like the uh, test print. Okay. And then I thought, no, okay, this is cool, but... <laughs> Let's make it full on big. Yeah, yes. <laughs> exactly. Amazing, and this is stickers? Yes. This cool. was my Valentine's present from Eric. Oh, so cute. <laughs> he decided. Wait, wait, look at this. Our stickers are united. This is unfortunately the moment where I realized that my stickers do not look like they are supposed to. So unfortunately, I'll have to get a fresh batch made. Oh, but also I want one of your stickers. Can yeah, I have a take, sticker? Of course. Okay. Look yeah. at this wet stick that he calls a wet stick, I'm but it very already proud has. Of that because I don't like interior wet sticks. No, they're hard. They're yeah, very hard. They're really hard. So but it's growing. And what is this one? Uh, that's a strawberry shake. Oh, expensive. Yes, it's actually a fruit strawberry brand. shake. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this is how my brain works. Very nice. We are at Connie Kramer Plants, which we spotted a lot of cool begonias mostly. Also some huge aeroids, but my interest is in these very nice and very large size begonias. Oh, look at this one. The velvet is beautiful. But the labels are hidden because the plants are so full, we can't really see the labels. Some syngoniums. Look at this one, I really like this. It's dark here a little bit more than in the main hall, so it's harder to see. But very nice look. Milano Bulata. And this one also, I think, is very beautiful. Really nice. So far I've showed you more the big plant shops, but there's also a lot of individual sellers and small plant shops, so I'm gonna film those as well. Not all of them have like cards and stickers and their brand name everywhere. It's nice to have the variety of different things. Green jaws, lots of... What are they called? Carnivorous plants. I really love the shape of this. Cephalotus. And look at all these adorable little pings. If I'm buying a plant today, it probably might be a little ping. Beautiful Monstera. Hello! Not everyone is here yet, so you see some empty tables still. I will try and film throughout the day so you see also the finished stands a little bit. Mike is here with me. She's my driver. We stayed in a hotel last night because we had to be here so early. So it's really fun. We're having a little holiday adventure. I found this adorable little fern that I've been wanting for my terrarium for a really long time. At least I think it's a fern, but now I'm not sure because the name is different than what I remember. Yes, it's a fern. Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. There's a lot of cool plants, but there's also some beautiful drawings. Look at this. Queen of, or like the, the coolest anthuriums and obliqua. Hi. And look at these beautiful syngoniums as well. Wow. Beautiful. This is the card of the person who created it. Wait, is it JB Illustrations on yes, Instagram? Yes, right. She drew one for me. A yes, custom drawing. 
<laughs> Do you guys remember that drawing of my cats and my favorite plants that I had custom made? That is by the same person who made these. How much of a coincidence is that? Her work is amazing, so I will link it below as well. Found some very beautiful <laughs> butterfly plants. Yeah. And she says they're growing really fast. And then they, once you have it, they will also make seeds. So you can have a lot of them quite quickly. It's really nice. Really magical looking. Yes. yes. Thank you. Here you can see the flowers. And these are sold at this shop. Back at Harmony Plants because I saw some more cool things like the Maharani's for not a lot of money. What was it? 30? And <laughs> fried eggs. Hello. Give me a heart attack. Look at this. How much would that be? What do you think? Guess in the comments. Oh, 170. Very cool. Oh, wait. I need two hands to put it back. Micah spotted these. Obliqua Peru for 35. Very nice. We love it when cool plants become accessible to everyone. The light is a bit funky here, but I think this is a real metallicum, like mine is not. Uh, oh no! Clarimalens. 100. Very nice. But the red light makes them look a little bit different. Look at this! Bessier. It's so beautiful. And it's making a flower, so whoever buys this can ba make babies right away. Found some aureas as well. These are 350. They're still quite expensive, at least for my budget, but amazing. And a lot cheaper than I saw them last time. Variegated Adansoni, Thai Constellation, huge regal. <laughs> I, keep, I keep getting shocked by plants. I found this Yupi, which is a full grown, beautiful plant. The price 50 euros. I should buy this for the botanical garden in Leiden because this is amazing. We are at the stand of Plint Plant, which is the people who bring the plants of turtle down to Europe. And I found some very cool plants. Look at this turtle back Labisia. Incredible. They have a lot of cool plants, of course, but this one caught my eye. Variegated bananas, lots of Aglionemas. Oh, is this a yellow variegated Monstera? Monstera. I don't know if that's the price. I can't read the labels, but some cool plants. Micah just pointed out that it, this shop is probably called Bunny Jungle, and then the Indonesian version is Plint Plant, because the stickers on the pot are Bunny Jungle. Nice silver blush. This looks like something very nice as well. No label yet. They are still putting labels on. We're very early, so we're letting, trying to let them work, <laughs> not distract them too much. Over on this side, there's a lot of variegated plants, a lot, a lot. And I already spotted some very cool ones earlier. I think they're done unboxing now. Lots of variegated zizis for 50. Variegated Peru. Look at these incredible plants. We already spotted this yellow variegated monstera but with beautiful sectoral variegation this one is 350 and then they have huge billetier as well oh someone in the back in the video sorry and a little sleeping doggy and i think she said that the big billetier is 2500 but they also have smaller ones with like two or three leaves in plastic bags this one is 700 this one is 1000 so they are still way out of my budget but they are very beautiful and cool to see strawberry shakes as well i feel like a lot of them and ta -da -da -da, incredible caramel marbles which are about 400 from what i can see the prices and some burl marks flame they have some very cool rare aeroids here oh yes we have to continue because look variegated skin dapsis different ones and uh, Florida beauties and other lots of just lots of cool variegated stuff this is I think um, scrambled eggs something scrambled <laughs> Syngonium 200 
Look at what we found. Variegated Milano Chrysum. These are 400. And ah, a little half moon leaf. That's so cool. It's very strange looking. They also have the variegated micans here, which is also very beautiful. 500. I feel like in the US, these are much more easy to get already. And here in Europe, I have never seen them in person yet. Very cool. And they're actually originally an orchid grower, but they also have all these cool rare aeroids now. So there's a lot of different stuff to be seen. But they are apparently really good at growing orchids as well. I wonder what this is. This looks very nice. 50. Aracier. It doesn't say. It is a variegated Epipremnum amplissimum. And I may have bought it. There will be a separate haul video. And look at this one. Whoa. Every leaf is a half moon leaf as well. I wonder. 700. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is incredible. Someone is going to be very happy with this one. This stand has a lot of terrarium plants. Very cool ones. Like this, I think it's a Telaginella ancinata, but I'm not sure. Very nice and pink. I want one of these. And lots of the, I think they're Polonia. This little, I think it's a crawling ficus. Little orchids. Little begonias, so a lot of cool terrarium plants. Oh, very cool. Look at these. I was not planning on buying any plants, but now I have. Uh oh. And look who we found. It is the best people. Ritz! <laughs> begonias with Ruperope. Hello! Of course, at Ruprope they have the most incredible Labicia, which if you don't know, I have a video at their shop, which is full of incredible begonias, as you can see in the little pots, and then the Labicia as well. Oh, the velvet on them is so cool. And the pink, they're all, all beautiful in their own way. Let's go behind the stand to film some of the begonias. I'm gonna be naughty and film from this side because the light is better. We have some Julau type 2 here. Some beautiful, I think they're, these are the hybrids that I also have. The, the um, Darth Vaderiana hybrid with a pink dotted one. Oh, beautiful. Arachnadingus, <laughs> the spidery one. Sorry, I'm filming from this side because it's better. Taking over the stand. This looks like. Um, Rosio Pentata. What is this one with the pink stripes? Rosio Pentata. Oh, okay, also. Okay. I wasn't sure because it has stripes, this one, instead of dots. And this, look at this. Okay, wait. Really taking over the stand now. This is Pavonina. And it looks really cute without the blue as well. I used the flash on my phone to try and see how blue I could get them. Of course, the lighting wasn't ideal with bright sunlight coming in from one side, but look. Very pretty. Whoa! And then there's some more, um, what are they called? The little dot plants. Sonorilla as well. This one is adorable. We want this one. And more Sonorilla that are very cute. I got another plant. <laughs> it's a very cute Sonorilla. Um, I forgot what he said. Vietnam, I think. We're gonna film some of the people because now it's actually really busy. Oh, all the aeroids, but all I'm buying is terrarium plums. Whee! Look at these Thai. Whoa. It has a half moon leaf like mine, except it's much bigger. <laughs> like maybe one and a half times as big as mine. Whole carts, baby Jacqueline's. Oh, why is the flash on? I don't know. Guess who's back? Myrta and Orchids are here. Some of the orchid plants, you may have already seen these last uh, market video at the orchids market, but they always have new stuff that is just coming out, so it's always worth checking out the little plants at orchid.nl. Look at this beauty. Jeez, I cannot pronounce. 30 euros. This, I think it's called the Batman plant or something as well, right? Yeah. I can't pronounce it too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
very difficult name. Have some very nice creeping begonias too. Oh, cool! Oh, nice. Very cool. Some very rare ones. Light veins begonia. Look at this beautiful crawling begonia that I kind of want. I think I saw this at Maggie's account, uh, Vagina Begonia on Instagram. But I don't know if I can keep it alive. Oh, it's so cute. So <laughs> I found another stand of one of the people that we know, Max. And it made it to the and I said, like, oh, just bring this one because I wanted to bring a new one. Begonias, they have a lot of different stuff. Take this one. Yeah. And then there he is, Max and Santino. Yeah. What does it cost? It's not for sale. Only the small one. The small one is for sale here. This is a very nice one as well. What does this cost? 100. Oh, 100. I don't want to buy it, so go ahead if you want to. But <laughs> Well, I want to, but I cannot afford it. Look at these variegated Pachira Aquatica, as we say in English. <laughs> And their mother plant that I think they bring everywhere. It's like part of the crew coming to show people come here to look at the plants. Here's the Burl Marks flame that we saw a few weeks ago. Seems to be getting bigger and bigger. And then here is Jose Buono. Beautiful blue fern thingies. I really also like the look of this begonia. Lucuana. Very nice. Seems very velvety. And then all the little fried eggs. So many little fried eggs. Cute. And I slowed this down a bit to show you the mature Amplissimum Variegata. Liqua Bolivia. This is the one that I have also. And look, it has a little <laughs> fenestration. Oh, not here. Just here. A little hole. So cute. Oh, yes. One. <laughs> Living up to its name. One hole. <laughs> And I think Luciana. this is the polypodi okay. There's also like seeds and more seeds and gardening, just a lot of different things. So very fun. I found a little friend. Look at this. I don't know if you can see, but this is a little cat. Oh, so cute. It's getting a really busy, which is very cool. Some people are very prepared. They brought boxes and baskets and everything. <laughs> that was not me. There's also a lot of succulents, but since I'm not really into them, I am skipping most of the filming for them, but there are a lot of cool cacti as well. So many cool begonias over here. They keep coming back to this stand. They are, I showed you before already. Look at this. This looks like species Trang, but it's a different one. Really big balada bulata. Just so many cool ones. And really, there's one here that keeps saying, Rose, come back to me. Come back to me. But no. <laughs> so we're back at Harmony Plants because we keep coming back here. Look, this plant, this is a metallicum. And yes, it's okay. I'm being very careful to touch the plants. I know some people don't like it when I do this. Metallicum 250 and it is so big. It's incredible. And there's some smaller ones here as well I think this might be the same, but I'm not sure. There's just so many plants everywhere that are incredible Like there's literal queens just standing there. There's philodendron yuppie standing here. She designed all these bags herself. They're adorable Found another stand with more terrarium type plants. Beautiful Lemisia Salaginella, begonias, and I think that's a piper. Wow, look at all these cute babies. Wow. And they also have the Batman plant. Look how cute. <laughs> it's so small, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. Found a stand with some cool plants. Especially this one, look at this variegated Epiprimnum panatum, but really nice variegation. Normally they don't have a lot, and these ones actually have a lot. That's like a half moon leaf over there. Beautiful! Oh, and look, this is like the 
decoration not for sale plant. I think it looks very cool. More variegated, I think domestica. Yes. I feel like Florida beauties are becoming more and more common, so that's really good to see. Variegated alocasias, different ones. Hello. We found these red Anderson variegata, which apparently are very cool. Micah bought one. And then we hung out with Lisa, one of my patrons, who I absolutely love. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will make a separate video with a haul of all the plants that I bought because, surprise, I did buy a lot of plants. But let me know in the comments which plant you would have bought. Wait, let me show you this one real quick. Ah, so cool. So yeah, let me know which one you really liked. Thank you, give this video. I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to say. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe below if you haven't already. Also, a big thank you to the organizers of Botanica Hum for having me. If you want to come next time, the next one will be in spring and you can find all the days if you just Google Botanica Hum, you will see somewhere in spring and then again in the fall. Hope to see you there. And I will see you again very soon. Bye!